Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that it's been a hot second since I've like actually recorded anything. Um, I've been on vacation for the last two weeks in Taiwan, which is actually perfect timing for this video. So right before I left, Wazer contacted me and was basically like, hey, can we send you two free like hair products for you to try? Like, you just have to make an honest review. So here I am. Um, instead of doing like a first impressions unboxing for you guys, I actually went and used these products for the full two weeks while I was in Taiwan. Um, and I will tell you why I decided to use them on vacation. So the two products I chose from Wazer for them to send me for free for testing is this Wazer hair dryer. It is 1875 watts and it is a travel hair dryer and then also this Wazer hair straightener which is a bit of a mini and it is also intended for travel. Both of these, these items are dual voltage so it is meant for you to take sort of around the world no matter where you are. It's meant to work with both like 120 volts ish which is what we have in America and then also 240 which I believe is what most of Europe uses. Wazer as a brand, if you actually look at them on Amazon, their products range anywhere from $30 to $50, which I think is really, really affordable for a hair product, like a hair dryer or a hair straightener. I mean, you know these things can run like hundreds of dollars if you want a really good one. But for me, like, I just need to know if that's something that I can bring during traveling because a couple years ago when I was in Italy, the hotel didn't have a hair dryer and I sort of just like went around all morning with wet hair the whole time because I didn't have a travel hair dryer. So the Wazer hair dryer kind of looks like this. I should show this side. Um, and it is a fold up hair dryer so it does fold into like a smaller compact shape. It is honestly a little bit bigger than what I thought it would be but it was still really packable for me. So a quick review on this product. Uh, the cord is really long and it does have three functions. So besides for having the cool function, which is right here, it actually just has low and high. Did I say three functions? I meant two. So this is very similar to like the hair dryer that I use normally because I don't have one of those fancy hair dryers that lets you pick the velocity of the like wind or output. I just have like a low and a high and a cool. So I was very used to a product like this. It also came with a little like attachment but it comes off really easily and so I didn't actually use this at all because I don't normally but if you are one that likes to use different attachments just know that even the one that it comes with does come off pretty easily so if that is something you need then this is probably not for you. The hair dryer in general is not super loud like this is high. So it's not super loud, it's not super quiet either. I guess I have an older hair dryer and it is really loud, so this is quieter than my existing hair dryer. And also what I like is the cool function. It does more than just like blow out lukewarm air. Like you know how some cool functions is very lukewarm? This one is actually pretty cold, kind of like a an air conditioned room cold, not like ice cold. So for me, I would say this item fits what I need. I'm very low maintenance when it comes to hair. I just blow dry my hair and go. I don't use diffusers. I don't use any attachments. So this is something that is really nice for me. The only complaint I have is there's no locking mechanism for this folding joint. And so when you're holding the handle down here, the top is kind of wobbly. And so I usually hold it like up here when I'm sort of going about um, blow drying my hair. But other than that, I really like this product. I think it's like $39 on Amazon. And so I definitely will be bringing this with me on more trips. So the other item is this hair straightener. It is pretty mini in terms of hair straighteners. I mean, the iron is only about this long within the hair straightener. What is also nice is in the box, it also comes with two of these little alligator clips. And they're actually like pretty well made. They're plastic, so they're not going to be as good as your metal ones, but they do clip like really well. And so I, I do like these. I do use these a lot. So when these came like the day before I left for vacation, I just like tossed them in my bag and just left. I didn't read like any of the instructions. And to be honest, during the trip when I was using this, I was a little bit disappointed. So let's go through like pros and cons. So it does have a locking mechanism. And this little locking mechanism actually holds the product in a closed position, which is super convenient for travel. And then you just switch it over to get it to open. 
Like I said, the iron is only about this big and it does not have a temperature setting. So it's not a variable temperature. It's either on or it's off. So depending on what you need, this may or may not be for you. So once the product is open like this, there's just an on off switch on the inside here. So you can't pick a temperature. You just turn it on or off. So now it is on. I don't know if you can see, but the light is blue that is inside like right here. And it does not take very long for it to turn on. I'm just going to wait for it to sort of get to temperature. So to talk a little bit more about this iron and whether or not I would recommend it. Honestly, <clears throat> I was disappointed with it during my travel because I usually carry on a hair iron not to actually straighten my hair because my hair is naturally straight. I actually use it to give my hair like waves. I feel like when I use hair curlers or even like curling wands, my hair gets like really tight curls and I like them to be more relaxed. So I actually use a hair straightener to give me waves and this did not do that at all. I don't think it gets up to temperature hot enough. I don't actually remember what temperature it gets up to, but I usually curl my hair at about 375 or 400 and I don't think this got to that temperature because it just did not. It did not make waves like, an, like my other hair straightener would. It also gave my hair a little bit of static, so I know it's not up to temperature yet, but for some reason, like, when I use this hair product, it just gives my hair a little bit of static that is, like, a little bit unnecessary. Granted, Taiwan was really humid, so it wasn't quite as bad, but when I was using it here, it would, like, give my hair a little bit of static, but I also like that it makes my hair a little shiny. I don't know what technology that is, but... My other hair straightener doesn't do that, and I really appreciate that this one does. So why I'm not totally discounting this product is after I got home, I read the box, and the box says travel style ideal for fringes and touch-ups, handbag size slash travel. So I thought it was going, I thought it was supposed to be like a full service like hair straightener, but I guess on the box it does say that it's only for fringes and touch-ups, and in my opinion, for fringes like my baby hair, if I sleep on my face and my baby hair like kind of goes like this, they stick up during the morning and this was really effective in like ironing them down. It was very effective like when I had ends that were a little bit not straight, like it was effective in straightening those parts. So if you are solely going off of what it says on the box that it really is only for touch-ups, this is a great product. However, I feel like if you're going to carry around a hair straightener, it should do like what a full like service hair straightener should like it should be able to get up to a high enough temperature or have a variable heat settings but this one just doesn't I also thought that it would give me like a sound when it was ready but I guess it doesn't so I guess I don't actually know when it is up to temperature what I forgot to mention is on this product it is rated to 100 to 240 volts and so I think that is meant for you to be able to carry it all around the world the hair dryer I have cords everywhere now the hair dryer actually has a Like voltage setting so you actually have to physically turn it to go from 125 to 250 volts Which isn't like I, I know that you know nothing is literally 125 or nothing is literally 250 Just go with whatever is closest so in Taiwan we actually go with 110 volts And so I left it at 125 volts the whole time and it worked great for the the whole two weeks It didn't get too hot or anything like that. So in summary you guys Depending on what you need a hair dryer or hair straightener for, these are really affordable options and I'm really thankful that Wazer sent these to me for free to test. The hair dryer I would recommend because I use it, like I will genuinely take it with me on trips from now on. So if you are lower maintenance like me, I think this is a great affordable product for you to get for travel. The straightener on the other hand, I'm not sure if I would even take the time to pack this just because it doesn't do what I need for it to do. I think it does a great job of straightening my like already kind of straight hair. Like it gets my kinks out. Like if I have it in a ponytail, it's great. But I do need my hair straightener to do more than that if I am going to take the time to pack it on a trip and take up that room in my suitcase. So I think I will keep this around the house, like I said, just for getting kinks out. If I have baby hairs that are sticking straight up, it is really good for stuff like that. But for a full service like hair straightener to bring out of country on vacation, I would probably look for something else. So that's it for my review. I 
hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I tried to give you guys a really honest review and now that I've tried the, both the products for two weeks, I feel like I do know how to work with it instead of some of my first impressions video. I know last time I did a first impressions on a hair product, y'all came after me and was like, that's not how you use it, blah, blah, blah. Like, yo, it's a first impression. So this is actually a review because I've actually used the products. So I feel like this review was trustworthy, hopefully. But I hope you guys have enjoyed my video and I hope to see you next time. Bye!